Back to the Value Investors Club. I'm your host, Simon Wunderlich. Let's get right into it with VIC Readings, the format where we look at the best of the best value investment recommendations by the best of the best value investors out there. Today, we have uh, Chewy Inc. C-H-W-Y is the ticker. It's a short recommendation. Um, filed in on, Octo uh, on November 16, 2022. Price at the point of filing was $42.30. Description. I've run out of time on another write-up. I was drafting before my deadline, so I'm going to have to go with something very condensed here. I'll apologize for the brevity up front and will be flashing this idea out in the message that thread over the coming days. The crux of the thesis here is that Chewy is an obvious COVID beneficiary, but the market and street have been lulled into a false sense of security about the health of the business by significant category inflation, which is boosting growth for now, but likely to roll over shortly and leave the business growing in line with volumes, which would mean anemic, anemically. The company won't actually disclose volume Uh, volumes per se, but they do give a very useful breakdown into the drivers of Cox growth in their queues, so you can actually get volume growth or close to it there, and you can also look at Nielsen BLS category pricing and strip it out of the year-over-year -year revenue growth metrics to get another proxy for volumes. This business was growing volumes 20% plus before COVID, and, has, and that has slowed to LSD today. This is not just a COVID reopening lapping issue either. The bulk, 70% of revenue, are consumables. These need to be brought, bought, in month, uh, bought month in, month out by pet parents. This is a penetration issue. There are a bunch of good sell side surveys on this, but if you look at the groups of pet product buyers who don't shop online, they've pretty much all said in one form or another that they don't want to and won't. The point is that there are very few online shopping amenable pet parents left out there who aren't already using Chewy or Amazon. The street has revenue growth in the low mid-teens next year. This is go not going to happen. The margin profile of this business is also structurally capped by Amazon. The core consumables category is dominated by a small number of brands with a significant loyalty. That means that consumers know exactly what they want and can price compare easily. There's not going, be, going to be any room ever to price above Amazon in this business. And given they offer free shipping to a huge percentage of Am Americans via Prime, while Chewy requires a $50 baskets, uh, basket to qualify, that's going to make life very hard for Chewy, particularly in a time like this when consumers are most and more cost conscious and looking to manage personal working capital via smaller basket sizes. The stock is on 1.7x forward revenue. At a 3% normalized EBIT margin, you're paying 70x normalized notepad for a business that I expect to grow MSD next year. That means the stock can halve from here, if not more. Again, Apologies for the brevity, I'll be following up in the comments. Catalyst, a big downgrade to next year's refs margins. Thank you very much for tuning in. See you next time.